Technology evolution seems to move at the speed of light. The smartphone did not exist 10 years ago, and it has changed the way we all behave. The proliferation of data, called big data, now gives users better ability to make sound decisions in real time. Cybersecurity threats are no longer about big box retailers, but spear phishing scams are attacking small and medium businesses regularly. Some of these evolutions are opportunities, others are threats. So how do we not get left behind? First, technology is a tool to be leveraged. With Master IT, our clients start first with the business mission and then ask the question, what does technology need to do in order to support the business mission? In other words, not technology for technology's sake, but ask what the return is. Second, simple is good. Master IT looks at every client's technology environment and benchmarks it against industry best practice. The objective is to architect the most scalable, secure network as possible. The gap between the current situation and best practice is risk. Some companies are risk tolerant, others, particularly those regulated and leveraging technology to be intimate with their clients, are risk averse. Look at the gap, assess what recommendations are available to mitigate the risk, the budget, and then make a decision based upon priority. Master IT's clients prioritize based upon a roadmap. Finally, for today's discussion, always look to peers in your industry. In terms of business practice, the most valuable decision Master IT has made is being part of a peer group. Non-competing companies, geographically diverse, who share a similar solution set and business model. We have shared financials, metrics, technologies, and great ideas. We learn from what others are successful or not with. Our best technology innovations have come from those groups, and we have avoided many costly mistakes by not making the same ones our friends have. In our practice, we talk with business leaders every day about the IT challenges they face. If you would like to continue the conversation, we're happy to do that.